The Gonzaga Bulldogs are looking to return to the Sweet 16 for a seventh straight season. Standing in their way is the Kansas Jayhawks. Uh, Gonzaga will be the favorite. Can they get it done? Well, we're going to talk about it. But before we do, let me tell you about a promo we have available at both WagerTalk and SportsMemo.com. Using the promo code JESSE7, as you can see below, that'll get you 30 bucks off any seven-day all access, all sports package from any of the great handicappers at WagerTalk or SportsMemo.com. Of course, that includes myself. Had a rough day yesterday. Not very popular at the moment. So uh, I understand if you want to take one of the boys from WagerTalk for a test drive, just go ahead and use that promo code JESSE7 and get 30 bucks off uh, all access one week package. Uh, let's talk about this game, Gonzaga versus Kansas. Uh, Gonzaga will be a four-point favorite. The total is sitting at 151.5. I gave out a free play on McNeese on this channel yesterday, and boy, did the boys let me hear about it when Gonzaga won in a rout by a score of 86-65. to 65. Uh, They had five guys score in double figures. Yeah, Gonzaga clearly looked like the better team. Hindsight is 2020. I know somebody in the comment section said every single metric indicates a massive win for Gonzaga. Well, the bookmakers have access to all the metrics and the line was six and a half. So let's get back to reality here. Uh, but yeah, it was a tough loss. Um, and can I come back with Gonzaga now? Yes, I can. Uh, I'm not a big Gonzaga fan. I, I don't think Gonzaga is uh, final four material perhaps, but uh, they're facing a Kansas team that has their own problems. Kansas is lucky to have advanced past Samford last night. And I did have a pick on Samford as well. Uh, Kansas wins 93 to 89, and they were aided by a very controversial call on what appeared to be a clean block that was called a foul in the final seconds of a one point game that had a huge impact on uh, the potential winner of that game. But what was Kansas even doing in a one point game with Samford? Well, Kansas has their issues, and I talked about this yesterday. Their leading scorer, Kevin McCuller Jr., has been ruled out for the entire tournament. I watched Bill Self in the press conference, and to the untrained eye, it just sounded like regular coach speak, uh, telling us that uh, he can't go, he's tried to play, and yada, yada, yada. But if you, uh, if you dig a little bit deeper and actually pay attention to some of the things he was saying, there were some hints there that... Uh, all is not well between uh, Kevin McCullough Jr., the Kansas City or the Kansas Jayhawks, and Bill Self. Uh, one thing that happened was a reporter asked Bill Self if uh, he thinks Kevin McCullough did any additional damage to his knee injury while trying to play through the pain. Bill Self was uh, not pleased with the question. He uh, he was frustrated, and his answer was, "It's a bone bruise," and that indicates that there's some frustration that. Uh, Kevin McCullough isn't willing to or isn't playing through the pain. And, uh, you know, while it is just speculation, I suggested that uh, Bill Self might have told uh, Kevin McCullough that if you if you don't play in the first game, you're out for the tournament, that's it. Um, or either that or Kevin McCullough has come to Bill Self and told him, listen, uh, too much pain, I can't go. I, I, I'm a no-go for the entire tournament. Either one of those things doesn't really make a lot of sense with a bone bruise. I'm not a doctor, but these are big games. And uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that whoever plays it for the national championship, both teams are going to have a player that's banged up, playing hurt, uh, with an injury that would normally keep them out of the game. But because it's a national championship game in the NCAA tournament, guys will play hurt if they're able to. If they're able to deal with some pain, they will do that. That's, that's normal in... Uh, playoff type basketball in a national championship game or in an NCAA tournament game. Um, uh, the speculation was uh, so great that Bill Self had to release an additional statement yesterday in an attempt to clarify that there's nothing going on with the Kevin McCullough situation, but he really didn't clarify anything. He, he, he didn't address why McCullough has been ruled out for the entire tournament when there seemingly wouldn't be any need to do that. Why not just play it by ear and uh, see if, if it gets better and if he can play in the final four if you make it that far. 
Um, his excuse is that uh, he hasn't practiced in six weeks. Well, three weeks ago, he scored 20 points in a game against Baylor. Uh, Bill Self didn't have any problem letting him play through the pain during that six weeks when he was unable to practice. And now he has a problem with him playing if he, if he feels up for it uh, in the NCAA tournament. Something's rotten in Denmark. Something doesn't make sense. Something doesn't add up. I wasn't surprised to see Kansas struggle yesterday, and I'll be surprised if they don't uh, lose big here to Gonzaga. I just think this Kansas team is a mess. Too many problems. They're going to miss their leading score. They weren't that great this season anyways. So my money will be on the Gonzaga Bulldogs, at least in this game. If you like this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you right, right away. Good luck. We'll see you again on Monday.